<laughs> 22 years old. Who do you think he is? Mm. You don't want it bad enough. Consistency and patience and elevation. We won my life six years ago and you can't walk in my shoes. That's why I do the things that I do. Come on now. Understand one thing about this. Consistency, persistence. When it really comes into indulging in what you really want to do. Factors that benefit your life. Elements. Come on, man. You know what I'm talking about. Let's really get down to the grind. You want to shine, right? You really want to do it. It don't matter. You see what I'm doing. I can pick up this cell phone and just get the rambling off rattling. However, you may see it. But it's the key in me for what I may seek as being a philosopher. My cadence, my joy, my nature. Me and my brother have conversations about living this monk-like lifestyle because we love doing this. It's being able to kick the game, speak the knowledge. And know that we have it because, hey, man, we don't focus. Common sense. They say it's common, but sensible minds, these elements. Every day I have certain conversations with people. It just shows me how much they just shy away from what's real, reality, what's striking, what makes you go. I hate to be around mediocrity. I was looking at one of my favorite YouTubers that actually kicks the game, Joe T. That man said, I don't want to be around nobody with a mediocre mindset. And the main thing that I always kicked to my family was that we swear away from the negativity. The degenerates, <laughs> the craziness, the insanity, man. So being able to put that piece together that I don't want to surround myself near or by mediocrity has been the main thing that I've been having that's been evident to my life for years. Construction, discipline, knowledge, knowing what's real. You have your knowledge in two strands, schooling and street smarts. These street smarts is the common sense, knowing not how to get played, man. Being able to read between the lines, observation, a cadence, elements. Come on, I'm laying this shit out. I just don't understand, like, it's passionate, man. This shit is, it's what makes me eat. It's that hunger. Don't you want this shit? Don't you want it? You say you want it, but you're not gonna do it. You can push the ideas, but it's not gonna come out striking. You gotta continue to try to manipulate your own self to align yourself with others that may seem as if they have it, but they don't have it, because you don't have it, because why? Surrounding yourself in the mediocrity. And even when the ones that's reaching out and giving you that hand. Oh yeah. You don't want it. Cause you're too designated to one plant. You're too used to that one thing. You find the difference in this reality. It's too much. You can't deal with it. And that's fine. It's fine if you want to lay down and pout, be stuck in your thoughts, in the wrong ways, be cast at amongst nothing, be pitiful, be a loser. If you want to be simplified, be a loser. Because even at this, I feel like the only thing that can really be spotted amongst stupidity is if you talk in mental. I'm not even going to say the word because it's not it's. It's gonna be bypassed, but this just talking with elements of no guidance, no structure. You know what that is, you have no intelligence. So mind my words. <laughs> wow. You wanna be that person, but you can't even get it out.
because you too much of a punk. You too scared. You don't like the change. You too scared of the change. That's fine. But no, man, the more time you waste, you'll never get it. We won my life six years ago. You can't walk in my shoes. We talking ICUs. It's people right now who can't even move. People dying, thinking about what they gonna do. But you, you got the gratitude to wake up every morning and know what you can do. <laughs> and you pity yourself. You a sucker. Grown for the boom, I'm reaching out for the tomb. And I, I see that out as a tool.